Okay, going to study unit analysis, uh, which is basically changed from one unit of measure into another. There are three basic concepts in this uh, skill. The first is this. If you had, say, 4 is equal to 3 plus 1, isn't it? Well, we could write 4 divided by 3 plus 1 is the same as 4 over 4. And the same quantity over the same quantity always gives 1. We're clear on that. Or if you had, say, 10. 10 is equal to 2 times 5. Uh, if you did this, 2 times 5 divided by 10, that's the same quantity divided by the same quantity, and that would definitely give 1, right? And what we're going to look at is, well, 3 feet is the same as 1 yard, okay? So 3 feet divided by 1 yard is actually equal to 1 because 3 feet is the same quantity as 1 yard. Which would you prefer? 3 feet of, um, of string or 1 yard of string. It's the same thing, isn't it? Similarly, um, we could have 12 inches equals 1 foot. So uh, 12 inches divided by 1 foot is equal to 1, right? And also we could write 1 foot divided by 12 inches is equal to 1, okay? Because they're the same quantity. Uh, second concept is the number 2 can be written as a fraction. Write 2 as a fraction. 2 can be written 2 over 1, right? Write the number um, 5 as a fraction, now write x as a fraction. 5 can be written 5 over 1. What's 5 divided by 1? It's 5, right? x is the same as x over 1. So write 4 yards as a fraction, 4yd. Well, that can be written 4yd over 1. Similarly, um, 10 inches could be written 10 inches over 1. And we need to use this skill when we do unit analysis. Another concept is this. If you have 2 times 5 over 2, if you have multiplication on the top and bottom of a fraction, we can cross cancel the common factors. Okay? 1 times 5 over 1, that's 5 over 1 which is 5. If we had a times b over a, what would that be? You could cross cancel the a's and get b over 1 or b, right? Now, we consider inches, feet, uh, meters, centimeters to be just like variables. Just like a, b, c and x, y, z and all that. So if we had something like this, inch times um, lb for pounds over LB, we could do this. Cross cancel the LBs, and you get inch over one, or inch. You might have feet squared over foot. Okay? Now, feet squared is feet times feet. FT times FT. Always use the abbreviations because it saves your time over foot FT. Now if you cross cancel common factors, these cross cancel and you get FT over 1 or foot. Okay? So you could have, for example, centimeters over centimeters cubed. How would you simplify that? Well, that's just centimeters over centimeter times centimeter, times centimeter, isn't it? Cross cancel common factors. This and this goes once. This and this goes once. And that's all we can do. But we have one on the top. So this can be written one over centimeter times centimeter, one over centimeter squared, right? So, using our, these concepts, if 12 inches is the same as 1 foot, we can write 12 inches over 1 foot as 1. There's one concept, for example. 
Um, 10 inches can be written 10 inches over 1 as a fraction. And units can be cross cancelled just like any other um, variable. Okay? So there's our three concepts. Now, let's have a look at this. If we were to change 4 yards to feet, change 4 yards to feet, here's what we do. First of all, write the 4 yards as 4yd. 4yd. Now turn it into a fraction. 4yd over 1, right? Now, we need a list of facts to figure this out, and here they are. Now, I know the answer is um, 12 feet. That's obvious. But let's do simple examples so we can learn the method of unit analysis, which we need to know for all the algebra classes that you've got to take anyway. So, 3 feet equals 1 yard, and that's the fact we need, right? 3 feet equals 1 yard. So what I'm going to do is take the 4 yards, multiply it by a unit fraction, so that the yards go away and I left, I'm left with feet. How would I make this yard go away? Well, if I put a yard down here, now these yards will cross cancel. See? They'll cross cancel because one's on the top, one's on the bottom. So I'm going to multiply it by this unit fraction. 3 feet over 1 yard. Now these yards will cross cancel, okay? And I'll be left with 4 times 3, that's 12 feet over 1, which is 12 feet, okay? How did this work? If you take the blue fraction, that's 4 yards. You multiplied it by 3 feet over 1 yard. Now this is a unit fraction. So this whole thing, this red fraction here is just the number 1. So you multiplied 4 yards by 1, and you got 4 yards. But you see, 4 yards is the same as 12 feet. So we didn't change the actual size of the quantity. We just changed the units. So we just went from yards to feet. Right? Let's have a look at this. How many inches are in 10.5 yards? Let's use unit analysis. 10.5 yards. Um, well, I guess we could start with our facts. We want to go from inches to yards. We know 12 inches equals 1 FT, 1 foot, and 3 feet equals 1 YD, 1 yard. 10.5 <coughs> yards can be written 10.5 <coughs> YD. As a fraction, write that as a fraction. That's the trick. 10.5 YD all over 1. Okay? We want to go from yards to inches. So we're looking to go from yards to inches. So we want the yards to go away. So multiply that by a fraction. That will make the yards go away. Well, if you had YD on the top, that wouldn't work. But if you have YD on the bottom of this fraction, now these will cross cancel, won't they? So what unit fraction must I multiply by? Look at your list of facts. 12 inches equals 1 foot. 3 feet equals 1 yard. Let's use this one. 1 yard is the same as 3 feet. Okay? Now the yards cross cancel. Now my units are feet. 10.5 times 3 is 31.5 feet. But I want to go to inches. So multiply that by unit fraction. That makes the feet go away. Do you need feet on the top, or do you need feet on the bottom? If you have feet on the bottom, FT, now these feet will cross cancel, won't they? So we need to multiply by unit fraction that has feet on the bottom. We want to go to inches, so don't use this one. Use this one, feet to inches. You don't want yards anymore, so you're going to use this one, feet to inches, right? So multiply it by 12 inches over 1 foot. The feet cross cancel. And we're left with 10.5 times 3. Times 3. Times 12. I N all over 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1. All over 1. 
which turns out to be, if you put this in the calculator, 378IN over 1, or 378 inches, right? Okay, let's have a look at this example. Um, Hundred and eight point seven five inches is how many yards? So this time going from inches the yards. Let's list our facts. And the facts can be found in, in the textbook. Um, uh, you could find them in the back of the textbook or or in that that uh, section of the chapter, but but there are a list of um, conversion facts in the back of your book that you can use. Three feet equals one yard. Um, also inches, twelve inches equals one foot. Okay. We start with one hundred and eight point seven five inches i n. Now we got to turn that into a fraction. How would you write that as a fraction? Remember, your pause is down here, so press pause and use it if you need to. It's that divided by 1, okay? You want to go from inches to yards, so you want to get rid of inches. So you've got to multiply that by unit fraction with the inches where? On the top or the bottom? Inches down here, right? And we have 12 inches equals 1 foot, so this unit fraction should be 12 inches, 1 ft. Now what can you do? Cross cancel the inches. Now you're in feet, right? So just take it one step at a time. One step at a time. Don't try and do it all at once. How do we, we've, we're in feet, how do we get to uh, yards now? Well, we need to multiply this by unit fraction with feet on the top or the bottom. Well, feet on the bottom, right? And we want to go to yards, so three feet is the same as one yard, one yd. Now the feet cross cancel, and what we have is 108.75 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times yd, so it's that, all over 1 times 12 times 1 times 3 times 1, all over 12 times 3, and that's it. And put this in the calculator, you've got to make this uh, 108.75 divided by 36, of course, and you should get... Um, approximately 3.02 yards, so a little over 3 yards. Now, okay, now let's have a look at this example. How many feet are in one kilometer? We've got a list of facts. We want to go from feet to kilometers, so 12 inches is equal to 1 foot, 39.37 inches is equal to 1 meter, 1,000 meters equals 1 kilometer, okay? So there's a list of facts, and the trick again is 1 kilometer can be written as a fraction, just like 3 can be written 3 over 1, x can be written x over 1, 1 kilometer can be written 1 km over 1. Now. We want to go from how many feet in one kilometer. So we want to go from kilometers all the way to feet. Okay. Um, so first of all, and if we look at our, first of all, we've got to multiply that by unit fraction to get rid of kilometers. Okay. So we need km on the bottom. And if we look at our list of facts here, we have 1 kilometer equals 1,000 meters. So 1 km equals 1,000 meters, m. Okay? And the kilometers cross cancel. Now we're in meters. But we want to go to feet. So multiply this by unit fraction that get, gets rid of the meters. So you want to get rid, rid of meters now and get to feet. So the meters must cross cancel. Now if we look at our facts, 1 meter equals 39.37 inches. Because we can go to meter, go to inches, and then go from inches to feet. So our plan is go kilometers to meters, meters to inches, 
inches to feet, right? So we have one meter is the same as 39.37 inches, right? Now the meters cross cancel, and now we're at inches. We want to go to feet, so get rid of the inches, multiply that by a unit fraction with inches on the bottom. 12 inches equals one foot. 12 inches is the same as one foot, so the inches cross cancel, and what we get is 1,000 um, times 39.37 times FT all over 1 times 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 12. Okay, and put that in the calculator and you should get the answer. Now you might have a graphing calculator that you use. Uh, on button is located down here. Turn it on. You should get this screen. It's called a home screen and this uh, uh, black square is flashing. To turn it off, the second button is here, second, and then press the on button again. It's off. So turn it on, then the second off. That's how you turn it off. So turn it on and we could calculate this. We could do this. 1000 times uh, 39.37 press enter and you get that number then divided by 12 you could press divide by 12 then it says answer divided by 12 which means this number this previous number divided by 12 press enter and that's your answer another way to do it is tell the calculator to calculate the top and then divide by the bottom so you could do parenthesis 1000 times 39.37 divided by 12, then press enter, and get the whole thing in one line. Okay? So basically we should get, uh, what's that, 3280.8 uh, feet, approximately. So we'll round it. Let's have a look at this one. How many grams are in 240 pounds? 2.2 pounds equals 1 kilogram, 1,000 grams equals 1 kilogram, right? We want to go from 240 pounds, 240 LD, to grams. So, trick is, write it as a fraction. It's 240 LD over 1. We want to go from pounds to kilograms, and then from kilograms to grams, right? So, multiply that by unit fraction. That gets rid of the pounds. It needs LB on the bottom. So with the facts, we can form a unit fraction, such as this, 2.2 pounds, 1 kg. Right? Now the pounds cross. Cancel. And we've got... Well, and, and we're in kilograms now. Okay. Next step, get rid of the kilograms. So multiply that by unit fraction with kg on the bottom. And we have, we want to go to grams, so 1 kg is the same as 1,000 grams. Now the kgs cross cancel. And we get 240 times 1,000 g all over 2.2, right? And again in the calculator, you can just, um, in your calculator, you can just put in, say, and if you want to clear the screen, by the way, this is the clear button right here, clear right here, okay, here. So you can put parentheses around the top, so you can go parentheses, 240 times 1,000. So it, put parentheses around the top and then divide by 2.2. You're telling the calculator, please figure out the top, then divide by the bottom, because the calculator will always do parentheses first, okay? So parentheses, 240 times 1,000 all divided by 2.2, press enter, and we should get approximately 109.090.9 oh, um, pounds, LB, right? And let's do one more example.
Have you lived 10 million minutes? Okay, list the facts needed. Hmm. Have you lived 10 million minutes? Well, what do we need to get? We need to get years, don't we? So let's list the facts. We know 60 minutes is the same as one hour, HR. How many hours in a day? 24 hours equals one day. How many days in a year? Let's take 365 days is the same as one YR, one year. Whoops. One YR, one year. So we'll start with the 10 million minutes. MIN, write it as a fraction, all over one. Go from minutes to years. You've got to go minutes to hours, hours to days, days to years, right? So multiply that by unit fraction with minutes on the bottom and keep going. So what you can do is go ahead and press pause, do the whole problem, see if you can get the right answer, okay? I think the right answer is approximately 19 years. So if you get that, you're right. So go ahead and press pause and calculate it, and then I'll just put the answer on the, on the paper, okay? So I've done multiply with minutes on the bottom, and at 60 minutes is the same as one hour. Then get rid of the hours, hours down here, 24 hours, same as one day. And then multiply by days on the bottom, and we have 365 days in one YR. So your minutes cross cancelled, your hours cross cancelled, your days cross cancelled, and you got 10 million. Um, YR years all over 60 um, times 24 times 365. And if you want to do that in the calculator, you could do this. You could go 10 million divided by and put parentheses around the bottom to calculate all this at once. Because you must calculate the top and the bottom and then divide. That's the trick. So 60 times 24 times 365. So if you want to do a one-line entry, that's your one line entry on the calculator. Otherwise, just calculate the top and the bottom and then get the answer. But that would be your one line entry, so it would be 101323 divided by parentheses 60 times 24 times 365, close parentheses, press enter. Ooh, and I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I should have put 10 million, not 1 million. So, second entry. Brings up my previous entry, and I'm going to highlight this zero here and go second insert, insert a zero, now press enter, and that's what I should have typed in, 10 million divided by that. So we have approximately 19 years is the answer. So if you're more than 19, you've lived more than 10 million minutes.